What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak the Apple TV second generation. That's the one that looks like this. Uh, so this is the newest generation of the Apple TV. Uh, my Apple TV is currently on iOS 4.1. Uh, so in the future, uh, this jailbreak may not work. So make sure you use the correct jailbreak for the correct firmware you're on. This will work with 4.1. The thing about this jailbreak is uh, this is very, very early stages of the Apple TV jailbreak. Uh, so there isn't really any applications. I think there's only one at the moment, and all it is is a uh, weather and RSS reader app. Um, but basically, uh, what you're going to get with this is just uh, be able to SSH into the device. Uh, you're not going to be able to do anything really with it, get any extra apps, aside from the uh, Neato TV uh, weather app. So if you'd like to do this, you can. Don't expect to get anything on your uh, Apple TV once you do this. Uh, all it's going to do, as I said, is let you SSH into it. Now before you do this, you are going to need a micro USB cable. If you don't already have one of those, if you don't know if you already have one, you may have got one with like a Blackberry phone or there's tons of other devices that use these. Uh, but the plug-in is actually a little bit smaller than the uh, original uh, USB. So now that you've got everything, you're going to go ahead and plug your Apple TV up to your computer with a micro USB cable. And iTunes should pop up. Uh, go ahead and minimize it once it does. There we go. It's recognized my Apple TV. Just minimize that. You're going to need to download the Apple TV uh, 4.1 firmware. I'll have a link to that in the description. Go ahead and get that downloading. And go ahead and download Ponage Tool. I'll have a link to that in the description also. You can download both of those there. Go ahead and save them to your desktop. Uh, at the moment, this is only for Mac. Uh, they don't have a Windows version of Ponage Tool out that will do this yet. Uh, but stay tuned and I'll have a video on that uh, as soon as possible. Now once you got Ponage Tool and the firmware downloaded, we're going to open up Ponage Tool. Okay, just hit OK here, and you're going to go ahead and select the iPad and Apple TV 2G. So let's select that. Here on the next screen, what it's going to do is browse for the firmware that you downloaded. Uh, it should automatically detect it for you. If it doesn't, you could go into expert mode and find it yourself. It should do that though. Go ahead and click on that. Click next to continue. Uh, now what it's going to do is create the custom IPSW or the custom firmware file uh, for your Apple TV second generation. So basically we're just going to hit yes. It's going to do that, building IPSW, just wait a few minutes and uh, I'll come back once it's done. You're going to be prompted for your password in the middle of creating the uh, firmware, so just go ahead and type that in. So once you're done building the custom IPSW, uh, the DFU screen is going to pop up. If you missed it, if you weren't prepared for it, you can go ahead and it will pop this up and you can go ahead and hit yes. Uh, but basically what this is going to do is you're going to put your uh, Apple TV in a DFU mode. It's actually pretty simple. Uh, you just need an Apple remote for the sake of the video. I'm using this one because I lost my other Apple TV remote. I can't find it. That stinks. Uh, so basically you just need to have your Apple TV in view. Uh, go ahead and you can do the process as it pops up. Uh, or you can go ahead and hit, hit yes here. But basically what you're going to do is hold the play pause button in and the menu button in at the same time and you're going to hold them in for seven seconds. So let's go ahead and hit yes and it's going to count down uh, to five and then we're going to hit the play pause button. There we go. And the menu, sorry. So you just hold it in for seven seconds here. And there we go, you can release both buttons. So unfortunately this Apple TV remote isn't going to work for me, or at least it's not working right now. Uh, but basically, you put in DFU mode, it's simple, you just hold the menu and play button uh, for 7 seconds. It'll go into DFU mode, uh, and then what it's going to do is tell you that you're going to need to open up iTunes and restore. Once, you're, once you did all that, you can go ahead and close Ponage Tool. Thankfully, that was a step that I can skip. So we're just going to go ahead and open up iTunes. It may already open up for you. Uh, now basically what you're going to do is go ahead and set the Apple TV down. Uh, is you're going to hold the Option key on your Mac while you click the Restore button. So let's do that. And there we go. It opens up to select a file. Uh, you're just going to browse your desktop or wherever the uh, custom Apple TV firmware saved. I uh, see it right here. It should say uh, Apple TV... 2 comma 1 underscore 4.1 uh, blah 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 custom restore dot IPSW that should be at the end of it make sure you don't select the uh, regular Apple TV firmware that you downloaded uh, earlier make sure you select the custom restore so basically uh, you're just going to do, go ahead and click on that and it will begin restoring go ahead and hit restore and uh, just be patient it'll take a few minutes so that's it. That's how to jailbreak the Apple TV second generation. Uh, as I said, your Apple TV is not going to look any differently. Uh, stay tuned. I will probably be posting a video guide on how to install Neato TV on your new Apple TV. 
Uh, but I will go ahead and link you guys to a written guide on that on my website uh, in the description of the video below. So if you like to check that out, you can. Or I have a guide on in there on how to open SSH. Just check the description for those links. And I'll probably be doing videos on them. For this video, I just wanted to keep it strictly to the jailbreak. Uh, the process may get a little easier in the future. Uh, we just have to wait and see. So thanks for watching. Make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button right up there if you'd like to see more videos on the iPhone and iPod Touch. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So if you guys would like to check this out, I just got Connect for the Xbox 360. I've already uploaded three videos on my YouTube channel, Ty's Tech. If you'd like to check those out, go ahead and click right there, and that'll link you to my channel. Uh, you can go ahead and check out those videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you enjoy those kind of videos. It's all technology, uh, stuff like that. Just I keep this channel strictly to iPhones and iPods. If you don't know what Connect is, it's basically you are the controller. It's like the Wii without controllers.